Hello my fellow electrical practitioners. Ito na naman ang inyong cyber professor, si Engineer Takyo. In this episode, i-discuss natin ang principle na voltage drop. Actually, ang voltage drop is just the uh, practical application ng Ohm's law. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko dito sa video na to ay dalawang pamamaraan. Yung uh, Philippine Electrical Code Solution at yung National Electrical Code Solution. At tingnan natin kung magkakaiba pa sila or magkapareho lang ba ang result. Okay? So, let me uh, show you by uh, giving you the problem about this one. No? Uh, we will illustrate about uh, the, the principle with this problem. Okay? Alright. Kita niyo to? Sana nakita niyo, no? So, a 10 horsepower, uh, three-phase, 230 volts induction motor is to be installed 300 feet, 300 feet away using a number four uh, American wire gauge wire on an IMC conduit. Uh, ang tanong is number four enough to mitigate? Ang ginamit na word is mitigate or enough ba na ma ma lessen niya ang voltage drop in this situation. So, is it true or false? Alright? So, um, given natin sa problem na to is 10 horsepower, uh, 3 phase, 230 volts. Okay? So, if I'm going to illustrate this, ganito ang nangyari. May tayong uh, voltage source, then 200 feet away, this is our uh, motor. Now, we're going to calculate the voltage drop in the motor. Alright? So, Dito sa problem, dalawa ang assumption na ginawa ko. Number one is, nag ako kasi hindi given yung power factor. So, nag ako ng power factor na 0.85 at nag na ako ng efficiency of 0.8. Alright? So, 10 horsepower, uh, i-convert natin into uh, watts. Actually, uh, tatlo ang pangamalaan na paano pagkuha ng current ng motor. Pupunta ka sa table ng Philippine Electrical Code or sa table ng uh, National Electrical Code or uh, para makuha mo yung equivalent ng 10 horsepower. Then, or dito sa problem na to, uh, gamitin lang natin yung given na mga uh, uh, data. Okay, so uh, ginamit yung given na data para makalculate natin yung followed uh, ampere. Alright, so ito yung uh, method na gagawin natin. So, ang pag-compute ng follow down here is uh, the three-phase uh, current, uh, three-phase power divided by 1.732 times 230 volts times the uh, power factor times uh, uh, the efficiency of 0.8. So, ang result niyan is around 27.54. Okay, so remember that this is a motor. So, we will calculate the voltage drop after we apply the 125 by percent for our continuous load. Alright? So, i-multiply pa natin ng 125%. So, makakuha tayo ng 34.42 ampere. Alright? So, nakuha na natin ang current uh, for this motor. Alright? The full load. Now, uh, dito muna tayo sa Philippine Electrical Code Way. Uh, given the formula sa Philippine Electrical Code is this one. The voltage drop since this is a three phase, so 1.732 times D times I times the uh, this constant or makikita natin to sa table ng uh, 10.1.1.9 so R squared plus X squared or the impedance uh, or the yeah the impedance. Ngayon uh, doon sa table kapag given kapag given ka ng uh, power factor, meron doon column na effective Z. Alright? So, para diretsyo na yung makuha mo, gagamitin mo yung Z. Actually, itong, ito is the effective impedance. R squared plus, the square root of R squared plus X squared. So, para may shortcut natin. Alright? So, gagamit ako ng effective impedance kasi given ako ng power factor na 0.85. Alright? So, yung distance is 300 feet. I-convert natin to uh, meters, that's around 91.5 meters and uh, let's compute, no? Let's compute. Given na naman tayo ng mga uh, mga inputs. Alright, so sa, let's compute 1.732 times the distance of 91.5 
times the effective Z, ito ang gagamitin ko, 0.3 divided by uh, 25. So this is around, uh, let's see, hold on, ulitin natin, 1.732 times 91.5 times 0.3 divided by 305. Alright, so uh, the voltage drop is 0 0.156 volts. Okay, now kunin natin ang percent uh, voltage drop which is the supply, uh, this one divided by the supply. So, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hindi ko pala nakuha yung current. So, times... Uh, So, times uh, 34.42. So, this is around 5.37 volts. Alright? So, kunin natin yung percent voltage drop. This, this one divided by the source. Divided by 230 times 100%. So, this is around 2.33%. Okay. So, Yan yung result. Now, uh, the given, ang allowable ng Philippine Electrical Code should be less than 10%. Okay? So, using number 4, or this is uh, uh, sa Electrical Code, this is number uh, number 4 is approximately 20 uh, mm squared. Ah, uh, 22 mm squared. I'm sorry. But, kung titignan natin dito, ang resultant current niya, this one only calls for uh, 5.5 mm squared th h in the wire. Okay? Alright, so, pakita naman natin yung National Electrical Code Way. Ang formula ng National Electrical Code Way is ganito, no? 1.732 times k times d times i divided by the circular mills. Okay? Now, paano mo makuha yung circular mills? Makuha mo yan dito sa uh, table 8, uh, chapter 9 sa National Electrical Code. Alright, so, ang Z naman, makukuha din natin yan doon sa table, uh, given ito. Uh, 0.321 ohms per 1,000 feet. Okay? Ang K, this one, is uh, the factor or the constant, uh, which is 12.94 copper. Alright, then given tayo ng distance, Ang circular mills, makukuha natin for number 4, dito sa table din na to, is this one. 41,740. Okay, so i-substitute lang natin. Given naman tayo ng mga formula. Uh, I mean, inputs. So we have 1.732 times K of 12.9 times distance of 300 times the current, which is 34... 0.42 divided by the circular mills which is 41.740 this is this will result into 5.553 volts alright and this is also equivalent to a percent voltage drop of 230 times 100 this is 2.40 uh, percent. So it is it's still less than 3.3%. Uh, Alright, so magkalapit ang resulta nila, no? So walang pagkakaiba in terms of kung electrical code or uh, national electrical code ang gagamitin natin, the result will still be the same. Okay? So ang uh, principle natin sa problem na ito is uh, ang kailangan pala natin na table is yung table ng an impedance table sa Philippine Electrical Code uh, table 10.1.1.9 and also the table for uh, the circular mills is table 8 or chapter 9 ng National Electrical Code ngayon uh, nagtanong, kung titignan natin yung problem ang ginagamit nyo is number 4 and yet, sa table uh, 3.10.2.6b16 sa Philippine Electrical Code this will only call for 5.5 mm squared so, masyadong malaki yung number 4. 
Although yung voltage lock niya mitigated, so this is true. Ang answer. But the wire is too much kung magagamit ka ng number 22. Alright? So, you will decide on the cost and uh, the cost of the wire and the voltage drop. Usually, yun yung nagiging complication nun eh. But, in essence, pinapakita natin dito yung uh, two uh, formulas or two typical solutions that will result in the same way. The Philippine Electrical Code and the National Electrical Code. So, I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa video na to. And this is your uh, Cyber Professor, Engineer Takio. And thank you for watching uh, Engineer Takio's tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.